My name is Mark Stadeven, I work for Capgemini Group. Uh, I'm responsible for the identification and deployment of certain tools across our different practices and also methodologies in terms of how we work with our clients. I'm an engineer, transforming manager. More than 30 years within Capgemini, I run businesses in the telco field, the financial services field. And now I'm working at group level. I'm in charge of delivery at group level and also some support function, including IT and procurement. Capgemini is mainly an IT service company, uh, around uh, 10 billion euro revenue, more than 120,000 uh, employees, working uh, mainly for European and American clients and with uh, now an important uh, base in uh, offshore for delivery offshore. We are more than 40,000 people offshore and quite 40,000 people in India. We have a very strong lean program that is being deployed at the moment. Um, we're also focusing on how to automate as much as possible the production line in our applications maintenance and application development process. Um, and when you put all of that together, of course, it's very important that we have the right software quality um, tools uh, to be able to verify what we're doing for our clients. After many years of uh, quality insurance, working on the processes is not enough. So at the end of the day, we need to be very serious about the quality of the software itself and its ability to be maintained, uh, to afford good performance and to be a good product for the future. We've had some experience over the uh, past few years with uh, what we call software um, analysis and measurement tools, or SAM, um, and in particular a tool called CAST, which um, uh, Gartner has positioned as a de facto standard in the structural quality assessment and we've, uh, we've deployed that in a number of different areas now across the group uh, supported by what we call shared service centres in India and Morocco. People will continue to use co-checkers for, for a very long time for unit testing for example um, but even though um, if you listen to the SEI figures when you're in a production environment, 90% of the effort in production is, is spent on correcting architectural problems or structural quality problems. And so the use of a tool like CAST has really helped us to understand and hunt down where are those stru structural quality problems, um, which cost so much money to fix when you're in production. If we look at how we've deployed um, CAST since the beginning of this year, um, worldwide, we have about 300 uh, applications that have been through either a single or repetitive uh, CAST analysis. Um, and that has been delivered through a number of, as I said, shared services um, in Morocco and India, supporting both our application development and applications maintenance activities. We have to use CAST in order to help us to sell application management business looking at the assessment of the, the quality, the size and the complexity of the portfolio of uh, application on the client side? Well, there are, there are two areas in particular that we're working on at the moment. Um, one of them is to understand how we can measure productivity uh, and does CAST play a role in the measurement of, of productivity? And the second is to understand how can we link um, CAST, which gives us an assessment of a client's application um, to how we estimate how much effort is required to maintain that application. Um, and it's the first time, I think, that in many ways uh, this industry has, uh, has tried this approach and uh, we're looking forward to some good results soon on that.